Hi guys, I've always wanted to do like figure walkthroughs and reviews and to show off my collections and which figures I think are better than others. So this is my animated X-Men or Uncanny X-Men collection dating from about 1991 to 1998. So yeah, let's jump into it. I know this doesn't come under the banner of Uncanny X-Men, but it is the first Wolverine figure from Secret Wars from like 1984. If you ever see these around, you probably see a lot of Kang figures. He's everywhere, and especially because of Ant-Man now. I bet it's going to get more expensive. So this figure used to come with claws that attached on top, which was one of the first that ever did it. He's got even less articulation than the others, and he's made out of a more rubber material, apart from the middle section. So he's in the brown costume like when he was in feudal Japan. There's no belt on here. This is what it looks like around the back. He doesn't have the strap around the back like a lot of the designs of Wolverine. Normally just a, a decoed out figure. A lot of the same buck for the other secret Wars figures like the Spider-Man. The face is very, very clean for a 1984 figure. Uh, as you can see the 1984 stamp on his lower back. And there's no peg holes at the bottom of the feet of this one either. Just a quick run through of the articulation too. A lot of them will have the same. This one's even more limited. The arms fully rotate and the legs go forward this much, so out that much, and down, and not far back. Oh, actually this one goes all the way back, but there is a little bit of rubbing where it's sculpted. Next, I'm going to go through the 1991 Uncanny X-Men Wolverine figure that came out. I kind of see it as the unmasked version of the 1984 Secret Wars figure. However, this figure did come with a slide-on sort of like ring that, you know, acted as a mask for this Wolverine. It's not too bad on his overall face sculpt. It's not as clean as it is now, of course. I don't necessarily think this is the best Wolverine head sculpt of this wave, or what I've got, anyway. A quick 360. There is definitely more sculpt to this one, especially with the boot, top of the boots. The other one is just kind of a deco on it. And there are peg holes at the bottom of the feet on this one. The other one did not have that. You can see as well, they haven't got painted uh, arm hair, but it is sculpted a little bit. And the, you can see the claws have a gimmick. A lot of this line did. I'll go through that now with this. There you go. And then you can do it like, so it just shoots out the top like that. Locks back in. There you go. An articulation, it's pretty basic. Arms fully rotate, head goes left and right. You can go 360 on this, but I wouldn't push it. And then the legs from the side go forward this much, but they're very tight. A bit more plasticky, this one too. Not back at all. And then knees bend probably at a 90 degree angle. Also, the boots have a very nice looking leather kind of lump in the middle to show that they're kind of stretched over him. We'll be looking at the 1991 Cyclops. The figure used to light up if you press down this button on the back. There is an X factor variant, I should say, which had a white X on a blue uh, costume and this bit was white too, as well as I think the visor might have been the same yellow. Overall, quite a nice looking Cyclops figure. 
not much to talk about really. Very clean apps on the belt. Not sculpted like the Wolverine one. The boots are sculpted quite nicely too though, as well as the gloves. And articulation is as follows. The head doesn't rotate because of the gimmick that it had with lighting up. The arms fully rotate. Very stiff and then the elbows bend with a pin. Just like about that much. The legs are very loose on this one, so I apologise, but so the, they don't go back at all really. Forwards that much, which is quite nice, range of motion, and then bend at the knee at a right angle. That's pretty neat, and there's peg holes at the bottom of the feet. I always thought this buck was very skinny for Cyclops. That's probably because I grew up watching the animated show. Here's Apocalypse from the 1991 wave. There was a following Apocalypse that came out later, which was much more muscular, like his animated counterpart. These bits are very cool. Rubbery. They're not really bendy, and they don't have a wire in them. Sculpting-wise, he's quite neat to look at. He also had a gimmick, like the rest of his line, with the legs elongating, like his abilities. And this going along like that. There's not much different, but he's a little bit taller compared to the other figures. Overall, the articulation with most of these are going to be the same. So some of them I might go through, some of them I won't. This one I'll go through because he's connected. It goes pretty well like that. There's no... Oh, I don't know if that's pulling back because there's an anim like a feature. But I don't think so. I think it's just because of this on it. And then back. Oh, it can almost do 360, if you really want to do I think you can pop these out and put them back in, but I don't know, with these figures I tend not to. The head rotates very, very tightly at the top, and left a little bit. This overall sculpt's quite nice. The nose is worn down over time. And then the back of the figure There's not much to talk about. There are peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Bend at the elbow ever so slightly because of the way it's sculpted. The legs go forward this much. Very far forwards actually. I don't think backwards at all because of the way it's sculpted. And then the knees bend only slightly. Following Apocalypse is the first Magneto figure <laughs> I'm going to run through. There is one variant at the back, which is just an unmasked head sculpt. This isn't from the first line, I don't think, because there was a, a smaller, more boxy version of him, which they both had this sort of spark action. You'd hit this at the back and this would spark up to show off his, like, magnetic powers but it doesn't work anymore so the overall sculpt's very nice on the face the paint's a bit rough but i really like the helmet trim around the side the bolts look very cool the gimmicks kind of take away the sculpt because they can't or the articulation this doesn't rotate at the waist either and neither did the apocalypse figure the arms fully rotate the bend this much and they straighten this one goes out kind of at an angle whereas this one doesn't oh they both do actually they're both going both sculpted quite oddly you can get him in the classic kind of i'm going to punch you pose like the opening titles of the animated show the legs which on this one are very loose go forwards that much so very far forwards backwards a little bit, not much at all really, and then the knee bends at a right angle, at right angle. Other things to notice on this one which I think are quite cool, the gloves are very nicely sculpted but like it's, like there's not much deco, but with the variant at the back there is more shading which really makes them pop, and the same with the boots, sculpting's quite nice. Okay, and the head, I really like the head.